Mark Andrews McGuire ran up in EDC's office and said, hey, cut the check. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And boy, these Ravens, they just be moving, man. They are non-stop with it. Non-stop. But anyway, Mark Andrews becomes the latest Raven. And, and this was expected. We knew the Ravens weren't letting Mark Andrews go anywhere. He was going absolutely nowhere. There were a big three with the Ravens. There were a big three. Uh, it was Lamar, Mark Andrews, and Orlando Brown Jr. Now, we knew, we knew Lamar, he ain't going nowhere. Because if he did, ooh, trust me, y'all don't want those problems, Ravens. Anyway, we knew Lamar wasn't going nowhere. And then we knew Mark Andrews, he wasn't going anywhere either. So that left Orlando Brown Jr. being the odd man out. So then it came a point where it was just a matter of time. Who was going to get the deal first? Was it going to be Lamar? Was it going to be Mark Andrews? We just didn't know. But we knew that both of these deals, they were going down. But now Mark Andrews is officially out of the way. And let's read the terms from Ian Rappaport to see what it's looking like. He said, the Ravens and Pro Bowl tight end Mark Andrews have agreed to terms on a substantial extension, with Andrews getting a four-year deal worth $56 million. It's a lot of money. It's a whole lot of money. Anyway, uh, the 14 uh, mil average per year means he'll make more money through four years than any other tight end in the league. That part, I didn't really understand. Um, that wording kind of confused me a bit. So if somebody in the comment section could please explain that. Because I see that George Kittle, George Kittle, he averages 15 mil per year. Then following that is Travis Kelsey. He averages 14.3 mil per year. So that will leave Mark Andrews at number three. Um, and a lot of people feel like Mark Andrews, he's not on Travis Kelsey or George Kittle's level. He's not. And that's being straight up. Now, that doesn't make him bad, but he's not, he's not up there with them yet. And something that Ozzie Newsom said a while back uh, when it came to uh, them signing players to contract extensions, he said it's not based off of uh, past performance. It's based off of your projected performance, what they expect you to do. Uh, we know Mark Andrews, ever since he came on the scene, uh, he has been making plays happen left and right uh mark andrews has been a huge playmaker he has been lamar jackson's true number one target uh lamar jackson's safety blanket those two have an incredible connection um and they they got that vibe for each other they just they're with it they got big trust for each other it ain't baby trust like lamar had with some other receiver but he got big trust with mark andrews um and, and we know why because mark andrews has certainly delivered uh in a lot of games now in big games like the biggest of the big games, like especially playoffs, Mark Andrews got to he got to take take it to another level, man. He he has got to really step it up, uh, come playoffs. Now we know it, it, a lot of stuff works against them because come playoff time, teams they got sixteen games worth of film on you. They like oh that Mark Andrews guy. Oh we know him. You know what? Let's double him. Let's triple. Let's let's take him out the game. We want Lamar Jackson to have as few options as possible. And we know he loves Mark Andrews, so let's take him out. But, yeah, he, he got to step up because there have been a lot of drops, too. Now, with Mark Andrews, even during the regular season, they're, they're a good amount of drops, but they are with Hollywood as well. But the reason for that, now, drops are tough either way, no matter how you look at it. But when you have a lot of volume, when you have a lot of passes coming your way, then that increases your chance of dropping the ball. Now, with Mark Andrews, uh, with Hollywood, too, um, a lot of those drops, they're usually just concentration drops. Uh, where you just feel like sometimes they may be trying to turn up field before they really have full possession of the ball. Um, some, and it's, sometimes it's just like it's a mental thing because, you know, they both got hands. You know, they can both play. You know, they, they can both make stuff happen. Uh, but it just seems like it's a mental thing sometimes. So now with Mark Andrews, hopefully since Ravens done showed him the money now, that will help ease his mentals a lot. Um, Mark Andrews, you know, Hayden Hurst got to be sick to his stomach right now. Hayden Hurst got to be sick right now because this, this is Hayden Hurst's money. This is Hayden Hurst's money because this Andrews took Hayden Hurst's role. Because if we go back to what, 2018, 
When Hayden Hurst was drafted, along with Lamar Jackson, yeah, along with Mark Andrews, yeah, along with Orlando Brown, great draft. Shout out to Ozzie Newsome. Thank you, because you set us up for a long time. But anyway, back in 2018, Hayden Hurst was the Ravens' first first-round draft pick. And you know, I had a lot of people upset. A lot of people were like, oh, man, what are you doing taking a tight end, Ozzy? Come on, Ozzy. What you doing, Ozzy? And Hayden Hurst, but he looked good. He looked good. Preseason, he looked good. This dude was making some crazy catches. That ball didn't touch the ground when it was going to Hayden Hurst's hands. It did not touch the ground. But then he got hurt. He got hurt. And then the Ravens inserted uh, Mark Andrews. Then Flacco, he got hurt. Then the Ravens inserted Lamar Jackson. That was all she wrote. Injuries are the worst part about football. But with injuries... It is such a bittersweet thing because what they do while they take somebody else, they take somebody else out at the same time while they put somebody else on. Guys get opportunities due to injuries every single year, every single sport, especially football, with it being as physical as it is. Injuries, unfortunately, provide opportunities. It happens. It, it, it sucks, but it happens. And for some franchises, it works out great. Other franchises, not so much. And it all depends on the position. It depends on the timing. It just depends on so much. But Hayden Hurst, he got to be looking sick right now. Because this guy was a first-round draft pick. First-round pick. Mark Andrews was supposed to be behind him. But he got the injury. Mark Andrews stepped in, stepped up, and showed out. Never looked back since. And Hayden Hurst was like, you know what? No. I, it's not what I signed up for. I want out. Get me out of here. I, mm -mm. So they traded him to the Falcons. Then they get J.K. Dobbins. And that worked out. But, yeah, we know the story with that right now. But anyway, um, this is good for Mark Andrews. This is good for the Ravens because this just, this is out of the way. This is out of the way. And even though we knew, we knew Mark Andrews wasn't going anywhere, still the fact that he had not signed a contract extension, it made it a possibility that things could maybe get a little bit ugly. We didn't anticipate it, but at the same time, we were like, mm, you just never know. You didn't think it would go that way, but you just never know. Because we could think and we can know, oh yeah, Ravens ain't going to let it let him go anywhere. We, we can have that in the back of our minds, but at the same time, until a contract is actually signed then anything's possible. Anything is possible. But now this eliminates all of that. So Mark Andrews is among the highest paid tight ends in the league. Mark Andrews got his bread. He got his money. And now he can celebrate. But we really want to see Mark Andrews step it up a notch. We really do. We know he can. Um, and with Mark Andrews, like we were talking about with the drops. With Mark Andrews, it's crazy. Because... He will make some of the toughest catches. This guy will make some of the toughest catches uh, in all these contested catches, in traffic and all that. And it'll be like, whoa, Mark, how'd you do that? Wow. You have gorilla glue on your hands? And then there'll be these easy catches, and he'll drop them. And it'll be like, what? But how? I, hmm, What? So we're we, we waiting for him to just, again, take it up another notch. And again, especially in those big games. We know everything that Mark Andrews is capable of. And even with him, sometimes he doesn't show up. But it happens. It's, it, it happens. That's why it's important that the Ravens added other weapons this year. So that can make it harder for teams to take Mark Andrews out of a game. Make it harder for teams to take a Hollywood Brown out of a game. Make it that much harder for teams to stop this Ravens offense. That's why you needed to go all in with weapons this year with Lamar Jackson. Now, Ravens, they, they could have went a little harder than what they did. Because they could have been a little more aggressive than what they were. And they did give a turn down a couple of times from what they tried. But, <laughs> but they did uh, really go all in um, at one of the more underrated parts of improving this passing offense. Uh, and that was with the coaching, with the names that I always mess up, 
with Keith Williams and T. Martin. Sometimes I say T. Williams and Keith Martin, but y'all know who I'm talking about. I know y'all like always pointing out when I be messing up stuff. Like when I messed up in the, uh, the, the preview for the Raiders and Ravens game, the Monday Night Football. And I, I, y'all told me that I said uh, Los Angeles Raiders, I think. And I make mistakes. Yes, I get it. But anyway, y'all know what I be talking about, though. But I, I still love y'all. I still love y'all, and I appreciate y'all pointing out my mistakes. Thank you for that. Uh, but anyway, um, Mark Andrews, this is good for him. This is good for the Ravens. Next up, Lamar. Next up, he is the next to get paid. Well, that's the next that we anticipate getting paid. Could they come to a contract agreement with both Mark Andrews and Lamar Jackson in the same week? <laughs> I don't know, but we'll just have to wait and see. Um, one last thing before I get out, out of here. Uh, I seen... <laughs> I've seen a couple of Raiders fans, even a, a Ravens fan too, but I've seen a couple of Raiders fans think that I was crazy for thinking that Lamar Jackson uh, could throw four touchdowns this Monday night um, and run for one or two, along with Gus Edwards running for a touchdown too. A lot of people thought I was crazy for saying something like that, but look at Lamar Jackson on primetime. And then you tell me just how crazy I am. Look at him on Monday Night Football, and then you tell me just how crazy I am. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And just like Mark Andrews definitely won't be anytime soon when it comes to him being with the Baltimore Ravens, I'm out.